New tonight at 10 o'clock, Metro Police are taking their fight against gun violence straight to local churches. Starting tomorrow, nearly a dozen churches will have lock boxes where you can take your unwanted or stolen guns. News 4's Michael Warwick is live with more of this out of the box plan. Michael, I know you spoke with a local pastor taking part in all this. One of eight area pastors who when offered the chance to be more than just a house of worship, but also a crime fighting tool, said he's all in. The foundation of his life that now marks the name on his church. That's why they came to me about them. They trust me. Change to Pastor Orlando Westbrooks has always been an opportunity for good. I don't know if they want to give a gun up, but I hope they do. We're going to pray for it. It took a lot of change for Westbrooks to be where he is now. Decades ago, he found himself stuck in a life of crime on the same streets. His church sits now. Praising God, first and foremost, who changed my life. For all those that may be out there uh, caught up in situations that they're caught up in, I have much compassion for them. And I believe that's what really motivates me the most. So when Metro Police came to Westbrooks and asked if his place of worship could also become a place for a new gun retrieval program, Westbrooks said, absolutely. And once we place it into the box, I put the locks on them. I have no keys. None of us will have keys. It's a new idea to try and reduce violent crime, offering churches as a place to turn in unwanted guns discreetly and with no questions asked. I don't think they really understand how one person's death affects so many people. It's a change in how police are attacking violent crime, enlisting the help of those who offer change each and every day. Let's be a place where grace and mercy can be shown to people, but now you, you can't just show grace and mercy. The people you show it to must have enough understanding to try to make a change. A persistent problem Metro Police have battled are stolen guns, 70% of which they say this year have been taken from vehicles. We have a list of all eight churches that are participating in this gun retrieval program up on our website. Tracy. What a unique solution. Michael Ward tonight, thank you. Yeah.